Going to test this vintage lens to see how radioactive it is or if it's radioactive at all. Um, it's an older FL mount Canon lens, 50 millimeter, 1.8. Um, old style FL bridge lock. They're a little aggravating to deal with if you try to adapt them to a camera like a Sony, um, but they work just fine. A lot of these are nice if they still have the old fluorescent uh, marking paint. You can see that it glows if you shine a black light on it. Sometimes they really light up pretty strongly. You can also sort of look at the lenses to check for radioactivity if you don't have a Geiger counter or anything that'll pick it up. Um, the lenses tend to get a little bit of a glow uh, on them, sort of like if you're testing Vaseline glass or some other type of glass that has thorium or something else that has a little bit of radioactivity to them. Sometimes it tints the glass a different kind of a greenish tint or puts off an odd hue to it when you shine the light on it. You can look here. Gives you a little idea that from the reflections in it, especially at that angle, you can tell we might have something that's a little bit hot. I'm going to test it out with a couple of different counters to get a feel for how strong it actually is. Front lens doesn't seem to be very strong at all. Flip it around to the back. Yep. Starting to pick up pretty heavy here. Getting around 13,000 counts per minute. Which is fairly high for a lens. But not overly strong. Gonna compare it. with the Radicode. It's the new 103 model. Um, it starts with a count sort of around 400 in my house, whereas the counts per minute on the uh, this other Geiger counter, um, normal counts are around 40 in the house, whereas this is around 400 starting point. It's a little more sensitive and picks up stronger readings. So on the front, yeah, getting around 670 counts per minute. Check the back, starts going off. Geiger counter did with it, but not too far off. They're pretty comparable. Uh, this is catching most of the gamma rays is what it's reading it from, whereas the Geiger counter, it can pick up the uh, alpha, beta, gamma, and even x-ray from it. So we're getting a little bit higher ratings using the Geiger counter, and I think that's mostly coming from the uh, alpha particles that's coming off from the thorium that's mixed into the lens elements. Most of it's coming from the back. Uh, it's probably the only element in there is in the back element, and you get a little bit coming through the glass to the front, but not much. But yeah, you can see most of it's just coming from that back element. Um, some of these lenses are a little hotter than others. just depends on the year. The later models of the uh, Canon 50 millimeters doesn't seem to have the thorium glass in it. So at least we know the FL model 50s, the one, F1.8s, 1 uh, at least this particular one, uh, has a little bit of radioactivity to it. Thanks for watching.